Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to easily and natively create a frosted glass look in your designs. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, as you can see here, I have this frosted glass look already set up, but let's go ahead and create one to the right of this just so we can see how it is done from scratch. Now, I'm doing this on a column, but this could be done inside of any container. This could be a column, a div. You could even do this on a row or a cell, but we'll go ahead and do this in column two here. So we'll go ahead and click. Let's actually bring over our headline and our body copy here. So we'll put our headline over here and our body copy over here. Now, right now, that's not super legible. So you might select column two, come over to the background and we'll just add a dark black color here and let's give it just a little bit of transparency so we can kind of see through it there now let's balance things out a little bit by adding a little bit of padding to our column we'll just do three m's here and we'll link those together so it is three m's all around and that's looking pretty good now we'll select that column again and jump into effects and under specialty we're going to scroll all the way down to backdrop filter and we're going to click edit we're going to add a filter and the one that comes up by default is blur, which is exactly what we want. You could play around with these and go into different things like an invert, which will invert the color of the background here, but we're going to stick with the blur to get our frosted glass look. Now I'm gonna take this up a notch. Maybe we'll go up to 15 pixels of blur. I think that's looking good. And to give it that glassy, that light glassy look, we're actually going to change our background color from black to white. And then we could play around with our opacity here so we could come down to maybe a 0.3 opacity I don't know if that's enough so let's go down to 0.15 let's go down just a little bit further to 0.05 and I'm liking how that's looking now just to round out the edges we'll give this 1m of border radius all the way around and there we have it that is looking great now the cool thing about this as I mentioned is you can apply this to many different container types within cornerstone so if we wanted to take something like this sticky header that we have up here and you'll notice sometimes the navigation text is competing with the page text here and so to separate that just a little bit we could jump into our header and we could use a blur so all we have to do is repeat the steps that we did on the column we're going to come in here to our bar we're going to go into effects we're going to scroll down to specialty and where we have our backdrop filter we're going to click edit we're going to add a blur and i think i'm going to add 15 pixels of blur here again and because we have a black color here as our background it's a little bit darker adds a little more contrast and now you'll notice when it scrolls over text you can kind of see the shapes abstractly in the background but now our navigation isn't competing with the text below it now as i mentioned you can play around with your colors here we could lighten up our background just a little bit there we could also play with our backdrop filter value so we could give it uh you know maybe it's eight of blur so you'd be able to see a little more of the shape of the text in the background but that part is completely up to you as always i hope you guys find these videos useful and i will see you guys in the next video happy building